Hello everyone, I've got another five cards to share from the January 2022 Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month. My first card here, I've made, I've got my own card bases for my stash, because I already used the ten that came in the kit. I'm using that kind of uh, beige rice pattern one paper, and then this white background with light green leaves here. And the dies from the kit, I'm going to use the banner, and then this one that says fill today with love and then the smaller piece that cuts out the top and I'm cutting that one out of that background paper that racy background paper so I have the light pink that I've cut out the fill today with love part and that actually is the two dies it's the one that cuts out the letters and then the smaller banner then I have these two die cuts the heart and the love circle one and the white heart is that same pattern paper as the background panel and this little element that I'm putting onto the banner. So it coordinates really well. And I'm going to take this little pennant that I've made now with the dies and put it here on the top left of my landscape layout card. But don't press it all the way down because I want to tuck this heart in circle die cut here in underneath so yeah don't push it all the way down before you put your heart die cut in there and then this other circle piece uh i didn't like it there i gotta move it over a little bit but that will finish off the first card pretty easy pretty simple i love the light colors and it's just a nice nice card card number two is a bit more complicated and of course i always find the hard way to do things but so the first way i'm showing you here is how i did it i cut out a panel i wanted that white border so i i had a, an extra piece of um, pattern paper that was a panel and then i used my ruler to cut a strip out of it now a lot easier way to do it would be to cut out just a couple if you have a couple strips but you got to pay attention to the orientation for how you want it and then of course you just trim off the excess here so that's an alternative way to do it if you don't care about the white border there or you know you don't want to make it as complicated as I did but this is how I made this card in the first place so I have these strips already cut out to the panel size that is about a quarter inch smaller than the A2 standard card and then I'm layering them uh, on a diagonal here and so I have my second piece with the hearts and I'm going to place that above the XO patterned paper. And you don't have to worry too much about being exact in this, at least this card design. What I want is the edges to line up because I wanted that white border. So you see there's a little gap. Not worried about that. I'm worried about the edges lining up because I have this strip of gold that I'm going to place in the center anyway. And that covers up any edges that aren't meeting at least between the two pattern papers. And I didn't think about, you know, cutting my gold piece to size first, which I probably should have marked the edges and just cut it with scissors, but I'm trimming it off with a craft knife because I didn't think about that part. For these two die cut pieces, I'm going to use both of them, but not entirely both of them. So I've already marked with the pencil and I'm trimming off to get that angle with this first piece. And I'm going to glue that down on top of the hearts pattern paper. And I'm not going to press the end down all the way because I want to slip this other piece in underneath in order to have it be a continuous line there. But first I need to mark my line because I have that white border. So you see my little white border adds complication to everything, but I really like having it. And so it was worth it for me but it does make this card a little more complicated. But then I just trim off that little bit and then line up the edges of the papers and get everything down. And it's looking great. Now to finish it off, I'm going to use the stamp set. And I have the No One Like and the You and my stamping platform and some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Yep, I did stamp it, I think twice, even though the VersaFine Onyx Black is excellent, but you know, just to get it nice and well done there love the stamping platform i have it so i like to use it to finish off this card i have one of those glitter foam hearts that i'm gonna place down in the bottom and that's it it's a really cute simple card for card number three i really loved this pattern paper and um i'm gonna use that and then they have the heart there you go you can see the hearts yay the it's like polka dot but they're hearts 
with a blue pattern and I'm actually going to do portrait orientation. I had it the other way, but this card is portrait. So placing the heart pattern dot down and then I have a gold strip. I think it's about a quarter inch, but it is about, well, maybe a half inch shorter than the blue paper. And I put that on the edge there. And then I have the two, what are these? Like fireworks? I don't even know what they're, but they're beautiful. I use both of them and I have them uh, staggered. And then I have the gold and white butterfly. I loved all the butterflies. I put foam tape just in the center and I'm curling up the wings to give a little bit of flight, a little bit of dimension there. And then the final three die cuts are the blue butterfly, a blue circle with gold heart, and this uh, die cut sentiment, Miss You. I'm going to glue that down flat in the bottom and take the blue with the gold heart and place it above it just slightly. And I kind of cover up that hole in the little banner. And my little blue butterfly also has foam tape just in the center so the wings can curl up and that will finish off this card. And I love all the blues and I really love, I think that might be my favorite of these five. I'm not sure. Now, of course, with all those sequins, I had to do a shaker. So I'm using some, a little bit of scraps here, gold card. I have that party-like pattern paper with the gold spots on the, in the background, the pink. The light blue card stock here in a strip. And that one is slightly shorter than the gold and I'm gonna kind of place it in the center. And then I just have this scrap of star paper and I'm gonna use wet glue cause it's too thin for the other stuff. And it's slightly shorter than the blue as well. And I'm gonna place that where the blue and the gold meet there. And so it's kind of a staggered little cluster. And for the shaker element, I have this die cut piece from the die cut pack that I've put acetate on and doubled up on the foam. So that's two layers of my foam. And then I'm just gonna use some anti-static powder on the paper and, and the acetate to keep things moving nicely and pour some sequins down here on the front of the card. And then we'll take all that tape paper off and place this little shaker element down onto the card. Now to dress it up a bit, I have some of the die cuts from the die cut pack. The balloons and then the kind of heart banner thing, bunting, whatever, I don't know what you call it. So I'm just going to put the wet glue right onto the, the shaker element because it, it doesn't have too much overhang. I don't think I need extra foam tape there. And I'm trying to figure out where I want this. I didn't want, I can get really messy with the glue. So I didn't want to put any glue onto the acetate. It's just on the paper part. And another one of these little firework die cut things that I've put all this foam tape on. Finding where I can nestle it in just underneath the balloons. And finally we have, well not quite finally, but yes. Just for you. These were really cute elements that came in the kit. It's like glitter paper and they move around. You saw how I moved that. So the final part of this card is using the die to make those three tiny light blue hearts that I'm just gonna put down with um, on the shaker element and on the balloons. And that will finish off this card. And I really like how it turned out. And I was thinking birthday celebration something, you know. So slow it down, give a little shake here and move on to card number five. So for card number five, it's all about the stamp set with that flower heart. And then I have this damask-like tone-on-tone pink pattern paper in the background and then the light blue cardstock. I use this quatrefoil um, embossing folder that I have. It's an old one from Close to My Heart, but you can use whatever kind of subtle embossing or you could just have the plain blue. I originally was gonna do like a Swiss dot one, but then I saw this quatrefoil one in my drawer and I'm like, ah, I love that. I love that pattern. I don't know why. I just do. So to uh, stamp out the heart, I again brought my stamping platform back and I'm just using the white cardstock that came in the kit and stamping it out in Versamark sticky ink with, and then I pull out my trusty old gold embossing powder because I'm gonna emboss it in gold onto this white cardstock. I have a large piece of white cardstock, but I'm gonna cut it down into almost a square. And so get that embossing powder on there. It just, it's really pretty just as it is with the uh, 
gold and white. And I thought about coloring it in, but I didn't do it for this card. And so maybe later on another card. Here I just trim like crazy. And <laughs> did you see all my scraps there? Yeah. It was, I, I wanted it to be almost a square, but so I'm pulling out the double-sided tape that comes in the kit because I do have a bit of dimension on this card with the embossing folder. And so I feel like that's going to hold it down flatter better. That's why I used that this time. My smile, it's sad. I lost the tittle, the little dot. Um, yeah, so I cut out all kinds of empty time from, of me searching for it. And you know what? I didn't find it. That's, this is very sticky foam glitter stuff, and it probably stuck to something and disappeared. But I did end up kind of cutting out a sort of circle out of some scrap to put it back on there. But yeah, this is what it is without the eye, and, and you can see in pictures what it looks like. So here are the five cards again, briefly, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I do have five more cards, which I will have to find some time to film and you know, post pretty soon, maybe next week, maybe this week, but mm, that's a big maybe. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy seeing the cards. Which one's your favorite? Um, and be sure to check out the first video with the first 10. Thanks again. Bye.